We're continuing to track showers moving through mid-Missouri. Taking a look at the ABC 17 Storm Track radar right now, seeing some lighter showers. This will continue to become widespread as we head off into the later afternoon hours, but by 3 p.m. picking the kids up from the bus stop, taking a look at the ABC 17 Storm Track feature track. You're going to be seeing some scattered showers with this, but really, like I said, as we head towards 6 p.m., going to see some more widespread showers along this cold front moving in from the north and west. Going to even get some possible rumbles of thunder and some light lightning, but a lot of those stronger storms going to be staying well off to the south towards Arkansas. Now this will continue to push off to the north and east by 9 p.m. Still seeing some scattered showers as this cold front moves through. But winds will start to change out of the northwest, which will be cooling us back down. Eventually by midnight tonight could see some light snow that will be exiting though as we head towards 2 a.m. Some areas could see up to a dusting at most, so really not looking at anything in terms of accumulation with this system. As we head off into Friday morning, a little bit more clearing, but those temperatures are going to be a lot cooler. Now with this system, we could see just over half of an inch in some areas widespread, but overall not going to be looking at anything too much in terms of heavier rainfall besides about that 6 to 8 p.m. range tonight. Now wind gusts going to continue to be on the stronger side this afternoon. Could see some gusts up to 30 miles per hour out of the southwest, so still looking a little bit warmer. That is until that cold front really pushes back through. And then the winds, well, you'll see it here. They start to switch out of the northwest which means we're going to be seeing some cooler temperatures as we head off into the overnight hours, especially off into the weekend. Taking a look at Saturday and Sunday morning for the actual feels like temperatures could be seeing a lot of areas back into the single digits. So definitely going to be a time to have those heavier jackets and some layering on hand. Then as we head off into early parts of next week, you're going to see those temperatures starting to warm back up in mid Missouri. Now the main reasoning for this cool down, well, it's attached this low pressure system and a cold front sliding back in from the north and west. You're going to be seeing the upper level winds going to take a lot of the air up from Canada and you're going to bring it back down towards central Missouri. So that'll be staying with us with that low pressure system. As we head off into the weekend, you're going to see a lot of those pinks. That's that colder air kind of pushing over us. But as we head off into Monday, a high pressure system dives off to the south and east and we're going to see winds back out of the southwest, which means we're going to get closer to those average highs which is usually sitting back into the mid-50s for this time in March. Now, as we head a little bit later in the week, well, the story's going to change a little bit more, going to continue to see warmer temperatures, and even into the extended forecast six to ten days away, we're going to be looking at average highs for mid-Missouri, so getting out of that cooler spell we've been seeing and that we'll continue to see off into the weekend, but we'll be looking dry. That is until we head off into next Thursday. We're going to see some more chances of some scattered showers and some windier gusts ahead.